back with a quick scripture. I wanted to go over Philippians chapter 2 verse 7 where it says that God came in the form of a slave. Now we know that when God put himself into the system and, and sent Christ, Christ coming down and dying for the sins of man, he took, even though he was sinless and he didn't bear any sin, he still took the form of a slave. And by taking that form, it means to take the, the human, uh, being a human body. God put himself into the system through Christ and he took the form of a slave, died for the sin so that we could be um, blameless in the eyes of the Father and so that we could have forgiveness of our sins and um, redemption through him. So in Philippians chapter 2 verse 7 where it says that he became like, he became the form of a slave is he became the form of, of human, of being like us, because we are a slave to sin. And the only way that we get out of our sin is repenting of that through Christ, but through Christ we are able to get to the Father. But he became the form of a slave, which is a slave to sin, even though he didn't bear any sin, that we could be blameless in the eyes of the Father. So it's just a scripture that shows just how loving and powerful our God is. He became a slave our form so that we could get to God and he conquered that so now that through him and him living in us we now have a direct passage to God but we can also live according uh, the way that we are supposed to and we can follow him he became the likeness of people and that key word is likeness so even though he became like us he wasn't us he still where we had failed and where Adam failed where we all of us every single one of us sinned he did not so where we fail, he didn't. So he became in the form so that he could conquer sin so that through, uh, through him, all those who believe can now uh, be righteous and blameless in the eyes of the Father. So it's just amazing. It's a scripture that really shows the love that our God has and it's, it's, it's so powerful, it's so amazing. It really shows, you know, who Christ is and who God is and it's pure love. So it's amazing. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll be back with some more Philippians here shortly.